Hallelujah is an abomination to the Messiah. How about Hashem Yahusha? Amen. Hallelujah. Your New Year, your Christmas, Mother Day, your birthday, your Valentine Day. Guess what the Bible says? Let's read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 12 and verse 31. Right? Actually, let's read from verse 30. Let's read from verse 30. Okay. Oh, we'll read from 29. All right? I'm going to go a little bit down. Right? Deuteronomy chapter 12. Let's have to say, He said, Deuteronomy chapter 12 and verse 29. When the Lord thy Yahweh shall cut off the nation from before thee, where whither thou goest to possess them, and thou succeedest them, and dwellest in the land, take heed to thyself. What did the Mosai say? Hold on. What did the Mosai say? The Almighty Power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. He said, We got to watch out. He said, We got to watch out that we don't celebrate what? Pagan New Year. The Mosai already gave us what is the New Year. How do we know? Let's go in the book of Exodus, man. Let's go. Actually, you know what? Let's go to Genesis in the beginning. Let's go. What is the beginning of the year? Let's go. Let's go. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 1. In the beginning, Yahweh created the heaven and earth. Understand which time? Which time? In the spring season, March, April. March, April. According to the moon, according to the lunar calendar, according to the, to the moon, right? Ecclesiastical chapter 43. Ecclesiastical chapter 43. Keep in mind. Right? Let's read it. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of Yahweh moved upon the face of the water. Keep in mind, man. So when did this happen? This happened in what we call in Spanish primavera. Okay? In French, they call it what? Le printemps. And in English, it's called what? Spring season. In Spanish, they call it primavera. Okay. In French, they call it what? Spring. It's called what? Le printemps. And in English, spring season. So that was the beginning. It was not in the winter. Understand that. It was in the beginning. Now let's go to the book of Exodus. All right. I went to Genesis. Let's go to Exodus. Let's see that sort of old sign. That sort of old sign. Exodus chapter 12. Right? Exodus chapter 12, verses 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, So you gotta understand. The word Egypt sent for what? Slavery, captivity, the house of bondage. All right? The house of bondage. Exodus chapter 20. And verses 1 through 2. All right? All right? Let's continue. And you go to Ezra chapter 13. Right? And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month, this month, did he say January? No. Now, we're going to get on the study by doing what precept upon precept, line upon line. Here a little bit, there a little bit. All right? How do we know which month is he talking about? Let's read it. Let's read it. He said, This month shall be unto you the beginning of month. It shall be the first month of the year to you. What did the Mosai say? It shall be the first month of the year. Verse 3. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of the father, a lamb for an house. Right? So the Passover were to be kept in every house. Every house. Let's read it. Right? Let's jump to verses. Uh, let's jump right here. Let me jump to verses. Let me see what I want quick. Right? Let's read it. This is the book of Ezra chapter 12 and verses 11. And thus shall ye eat it, the lamb. How are we supposed to eat the Passover? How are we supposed to eat the Passover? 
are we supposed to eat the Passover, the, the, the way we eat, everything we eat? No. Right? And thus shall ye eat it, with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, right? And your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat it in haste. The Passover must be eaten in haste. It's not about you go, you sit down, you're having fun. You, no, we got to eat it. You stand it, right? While the meat's being roasted, it's cooking slowly, make sure there's no blood. Guess what? We got to start eating the Passover, man. Right? He said, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. So the Lord's Passover is in the what? The 14th day of the first month. Now let's see. Let's go to another precept, all right? Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Here a little, there a little. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 13, and verses 1 through 2. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whatsoever open the womb among the children of Israel, both men and of beasts. It is mine. Right? So keep in mind. It is of who? The most high. Okay? Bear with me. Let's read it. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which Remember this day in which ye came out from Egypt, right? Keep in mind, ye came out of Egypt, out of what slavery, captivity, bondage, oppression. Are we not being oppressed right now in Babylon the Great? And throughout the far from this earth, ye so called blacks, Latino, and Native Indian? Yes, of course, we've been oppressed right now, man. But our people don't see it as an oppression. Our people, they don't see it as oppression. They call it delicacy. When they're celebrating pagan things, man. When they're celebrating pagan things, when they're doing evil, they join hands with the wicked to do more evil. Our people call it delicacy, man. Adding sin to sin. They add this sin to sin, right? Let's read it. Let's read it. He said, Remember this day in which ye came out from Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. You see that? For by strength of hand, the Lord brought you out from this place. There shall no leavened bread be eaten. This day came ye out in the Mount Abib. What did the Mosai say? So, because when you go to Ezra chapter 12, verses 2, what did the Mosai say? Let me read it quick. He said, This month shall be unto you the beginning of the month. So, the beginning of the month is what? Abib. Abib or Nisan. Right? Let's read it again. Right? Ezra chapter 13 and verse 4. This day came ye out in the month Abib. In the month Abib. It did not say January. Right? It did not say Ernero. It did not say Janus. Jano. It does not say January or Janvier. No, man. Right? He said the month Abib. Exodus 12 and 2. I just read it early. Right? Let's go right here. Let's go back again. I'm going to go back to Exodus. Exodus 23 and 15. Let's go to it. Exodus 23 and verse 15. Let's go to it. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 23, and verses 15. Thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days. But they don't keep that in the Christian church. How come the, the government, how come your government throughout the fuck from this? How come they don't tell you? How come they don't push for the feast of unleavened bread? Hey, can you break that down? We're asking you out there, you scholar. And now you run your mouth, you say you know this and that, blah, blah, blah. You say we're teaching lies, we're spreading misinformation. Listen, how come your government, how come your politician, they don't nationalize the feast of unleavened bread? Ask your politician, why? If they really, really know the most side, are they really, really serving the most side, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, on the right inside? No, they're serving the most side on the left inside, which is the side of who? Satan. So 
So how come all this company, all this business, all this oligarchy, or oligarchs, you name them, right? The power that be, how come they do not promote the feast of unleavened bread in the first month of the year, which is what? Aviv Nisan. Aviv Nisan, March, April, according to the moon. They don't. But what do they promote? They promote nothing else than pagan days, pagan festival. They only promote pagan festival. They don't promote the most side. They don't promote the most side. They only promote what? Pagan festival. Pagan festival all day long. That's what they do, man. That's how we know that they are not serving the most high and they don't know the most high. Their God is democracy, okay? Their God is democracy, all right? Look how much money they made off the so called black Satino and Native Indian this past two weeks. Are people wasting money buying all type of like abomination? All type of like I don't even know, man. Some of them buy pork. I see them. It's so mark down the pork meat. That dirty meat is so mark it down. And guess what? Are people buying it, man? Are people just buying just to add sin to sin? Hermana. Who said, no, no. Who said, Busca, me, me channel in YouTube. Le Busca. Le encuentro. Por qué? Okay. So you gotta keep in mind. The Mosai say, listen, you can't do that. The Mosai say, they what? Ezra chapter 23. Let's go back again in, inside again. Let's read it. This is what the Mosai say. Ezra 23 and 15. Thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days. Seven days. The so called blacks, that you know, you must, you have to. As I commanded thee in the time appointed of the month Abib, of the month Abib, A B I B. For in it thou camest out from Egypt, and none shall appear before me empty. That's what the Mosai said, man. The 14th day of the first month of the year, the month Nisan or Aviv, is the Passover. And the next day is the feast of war on leavened bread for seven days. So let's read it. Deuteronomy chapter 12 and verses 30. Take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them. There we go, man. The Mosai say, don't follow New Year. Do not celebrate New Year. Don't follow the way of the heathen. Don't do it. The Mosai told us, literally, he said, don't celebrate New Year. Do not. Don't celebrate New Year. Because it has nothing to do with the Mosai, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Nothing. You do it unto who? Satan. Your New Year is to worship Satan and to please men. Pray much. You don't understand? We're letting you know, man. Where in the Bible? And don't just tell me it's about, oh, it's just for my family. No, man. Cut it out, buddy. Cut it out. Repent. Keep God's commandment. Stop using excuses. Oh, well, you know, it's just for the family. No. We don't want to hear that. We tell you, that's Christianity, man. Clean yourself. Let's go. Let us continue to say, Take 
I give to thyself that thou be not snared by following them. After that they be destroyed from before thee. And thou, and that thou inquire not after the God. There we go. Let's take a look at the God. What is the God associated with January? First January. Let's go. I got my book right here. I got this beautiful book right here. Let me grab it first before I go to Google. All right? Before we go to Google, let's go right here. Before we go to Google, all right? Keep in mind, before we go to Google, right? We're going to go to this book, all right? All right? We're going to go to this book, as you already know. We're going to go to this book, okay? It's called the Pagan Book of Days. The Pagan Book of Day, a guide to the festival, tradition, and sacred day of the year. By who? Niagara Panic. Let's go to it. Let's take a look at January. Right? Let's take a look. Okay. It's a lot of going on, man. Huh? Other calendar. There we go. Let's take a look. We're going to take a look at some of the calendar. That the people follow today, man. Right? It's nothingness and what? Idolatry, man. Right? Nothingness and weakness. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna read. So I'm on the page, uh, let's see. You can see the image, man. This is the God that you're worshiping. This is what you're celebrating tonight. Ye so-called black satin and native here. This is what you're celebrating tonight. Alright? This is what you're celebrating. Your New Year, this is what you're celebrating tonight. Okay? You look at him, he got double faces. Okay? Double faces. Okay? This is what you're worshiping tonight. Right? Your food that you order, the food that you cook cooking, right? All this drink that you bought for the past two, three days, guess who you buying that drink for? You buying to worship this God, man. And we're going to read about it, all right? Because there are people simple. The so-called blacks, Latino and Native Indian, they're simple, man. They're very simple, right? We're going to read it. And this, this scholar, they're going to let you know what you're worshiping. They're going to tell you, so-called blacks, Latino and Native Indian, what are you worshiping really, right? What are you worshiping? Is it a Mosai, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai? Who are you worshiping? When you celebrate your New Year, when you dress up, you're all excited, right? You're all excited, yeah. New Year, New Year. No, man. You're worshipping Satan, man. Your New Year is for the devil, El Diablo. Nothing else, man. It's for El Diablo. Año Nuevo, Primero de Arnero, ese por El Diablo, man. So let's read what the Most High say. All right? We're going to read that set of Most High. Before we continue in this article, right? Let's see that set of Mosai. Let's see what the Mosai say. You can't do that, man. Let's go back to First Peter four eleven, right? Whatsoever are left over, right? First Peter four eleven. He said, "If any man speak, let him speak as the oracle of Yahweh." So you want to celebrate? Anything, it gotta be according to the Bible, man. It gotta be according to the Bible. If you're celebrating something outside of the Bible, guess what? You're doing that to Satan. That's for Satan, buddy. Understand that or no? Right? Let us continue. He said, if any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which Yahweh given, that Yahweh in all things. May be glorified through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to whom be praised and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. You see? So you want to celebrate something? Go to the Bible, man. Go to the Bible. Go to the Bible. Don't just celebrate to celebrate. All right? We'll be right back. Let's see. We want to read this article. Let's go to it.